Good morning from Disney's Animal Kingdom. We're out here this morning because we are going to the Tusker House restaurant. It is November 1st and it is finally back to a standard buffet. It's been family style since the parks reopened back in 2020 and we're finally now back to what it is supposed to be. It is a character breakfast, so we'll be seeing a lot of friends in their fun safari gear. It's uh, a location we've always wanted to go to. Before the closures, um, it was one of the top locations we wanted to try, mostly because they have a lot of like really fun and unique options, which you don't really see much at the um, other Disney buffets. So why don't you guys come along, let's go make some memories together. Uh, of course, we've already got some of our winter decor coming out. Got these little animal luminaries on top of the building here. Animal Kingdom does a great job with our winter stuff. We'll definitely come out here and do a video on them later on because they've got these fun little interactive puppets. They are so cute, I love them. So our reservation is for about 9, 10. It's a little before nine now. I honestly thought the park would have opened probably about an hour ago because Animal Kingdom is the earliest opening park. But no, they open at nine. So because we have a dining reservation, we were able to go through the uh, early hotel guest entrance. I don't know if that will always be the case, but we walked up and we said, hey, this is our reservation. We have nine, we have to be there at nine, 10 because I can't imagine having to go through the crowd of people to get all the way up here to get to our dining reservation. Because if you are late, you can lose lose the reservation. So you don't want to be late to those. Well, and still get charged. Yes, and they will charge you because they do charge you 10, 10 per person, $10 per person if you don't show. So if you're a family of six, that's $60 just gone if you choose not to go to your reservation. So go to your reservations. Tusker House Restaurant is gonna be located back here in the Africa section of the park because it is safari themed. So when you cross the bridge over here into Africa, you'll come to the village of Harambe, rest in peace Harambe. And Tusker House is gonna be the first thing here on the left. We've got a couple more minutes to check in, so we won't quite go up there yet. But yeah, very, very easy to find. There's Tusker House Family Buffet. We were a little afraid that the buffet didn't change over because the website hadn't updated yet. But sure enough, day, day one, we're back doing a family buffet. It is going to be character dining, like I said. You're going to have characters like Donald here, Mickey, Goofy, and I believe Daisy is also here. And then, of course, you've got your breakfast buffet things. You've got your normal things like your uh, waffles, your eggs, your pastry, stuff like that. But there's also going to be some things like uh, some curry chicken. Uh, I think there's some couscous and just some African-inspired things. Again, being a character breakfast, it is gonna be a little pricey at $45 a person if you're 10 and over. Yes, age is three to nine, it's gonna be 29. But again, you are paying for those characters. We've done Tusker House before, um, back in October of last year for the 50th, uh, but it was family style at that point and the characters were still distance. It was also dinner, and I actually really liked it. It was actually one of my favorite meals that we actually did on property. So I'm excited to see if not only is the quality different, but just what they truly offer, because I don't feel like it was super African-inspired whenever we came here. Like, there were some things. No, not, not as, like, as much as, like, uh, Boma. Boma, or, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's true. I think it played a little safe here being a, uh, a uh, family style. Well, a family style within a theme park. I think they play kind of safe that way. But yeah, I'm excited to see what they have. We're going to go check in and see if uh, we can get in maybe a few minutes early. Right. I always forget that it's kind of like tucked behind here. Animal Kingdom with their sense of scale and decor. You kind of forget you're on a theme park at times. Yeah. All right. It smells so good in here. I'm really excited for this. All right, they took our drink order. We're gonna go take a spin around the buffet, see all the new things that are out there, and uh, then we'll show you guys what we actually get. All right, you've got your fresh fruit. You've got your cereal bar over here. Cheese omelets. Ooh, the andouille sausage looks good. Sausage patties. There's some, some kind of safe stuff right here. The mealy pop looks really good. I think this is supposed to be like your oatmeal station. Yeah, oatmeal station. Uh, oh, Impossible Bavoti, so they have an impossible option. Green beans. Oh, ooh, that looks good. Tandoori spiced tomatoes. Salsa, vegetable frittata, shashuka. I've had that at uh, Boma. I don't remember if I liked it or not. Those breakfast days look amazing. Oh my gosh. Uh, ooh, Malva bread pudding. I don't even, is that like a savory thing? I can't tell. That looks good though. Cape Malay chicken curry. 
some jasmine rice, and here's your little kid section. Of course, you know I'm gonna be over here. Not only do you have Mickey waffles, but you got your Simba and your Nala waffles. Very cute. Got some tater tots. And over here is your cold options. Black eyed pea salad, watermelon feta, carrot chickpea. So lots of more unique options for sure. Ooh, overnight oats, that looks really good as well. Some hard boiled eggs. But like some sliced tomatoes, some smoked salmon, house seasoned beet and orange smoked salmon. I actually might try that. I'm not really big on salmon. Uh, you've got your like bakery selection right there. Lots of good stuff. Quite a bit to choose from. I'm actually pleasantly surprised by all of this. So uh, we're gonna grab our plates and we'll sit down and show you guys what we got. All right, so we got our first plates. They brought our pog juice and we got our little bread, our little bread tray, which looks really cute. I think it's honey and butter. It's like a honey whipped butter and like look at all the like look at that multicolored bread. That's so cute. I love it. All right, so my first plate I got um, the mealy pop, which I think is the egg and feta kind of spread thing they had at, at Boma. That's what I got too. I got an andouille sausage. I realized I've never had shakshuka. But Trader Joe's used to sell shakshuka, so that's that's how I know what it is. Um, I kind of got a little bit of safe stuff, but uh, my plate filled up very quickly. Those breakfast potatoes look stellar, though. What all did you get? So I got the, uh, whatever you said. Mealy pop. Yeah, I tried to remember, but of course, as soon as I sat down, I brought everything. Uh huh. So the, yeah, the mealy pop, I got the ham with like the, I forget what it is, but it's it's right next to the ham. It has like a African name to it. Yeah, because so like I got that on my eggs. I don't remember what it was either, yeah, but I got it too. Yeah, um, uh, Bobodi. Bobodi. It's well, the, the impossible version? Yeah, it's okay. the impossible Bobodi. The potatoes, I got the sausage, I got regular sausage, the little omelet, oh. and then I got the... Uh, like the curry? Yeah, the chicken curry. With the rice? Mm -hmm. It all looks really good. And what's really nice about here is that there's there's not like a lot of like repeat. There's not a lot of what? Repeat. So oh, like yeah. Crystal Palace, there was like two sides where mm -hmm. it was just repeated, while here it looked predominantly all different. Every all section always. was different, yeah. There was only like one little bar that had like a repeat of like sausage and uh, bacon. That's true. And that's it. Yeah. But even on that bar, they had a couple different options. Yeah. That's why I like about here. It's like there's a lot of variety. To choose yeah. From. All right, we're gonna jump right in. She called this Halloween bread. That's funny. Wasn't it the shape of Africa? I honestly couldn't tell. I think it was the shape of Africa with like African colors. I mean, African colors for sure. Oh god. Oh, I forgot that pop is like a savory sweet cornmeal kind of thing. It's not my favorite thing. I'm glad I got it because I tried it. But um, I, I thought it was eggs with, with feta because at Boma, there's an egg and feta thing that is delicious. Uh, everything else is good so far. I wonder if this is the egg and feta thing, potentially. Maybe. I've not tried it yet, but it's eggy. No. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right, first character. Hi, Donald. Good morning. How are you? Oh, you look fantastic already. You look great. <laughs> oh, thank you. I look great too. Oh, thank you. It is really good. I like it. So we're going to do the safari later. What animal should we look out for? All of them? Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, a lion. Oh, probably sleeping. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, always sleeping. <laughs> okay, one more, one more. The alligator? Yeah. <laughs> I've always wanted to walk across that uh, bridge that's up there. It looks terrifying. Yeah. A little bit. Have you done it before? No way. <laughs> it was nice to see you, Donald. Thanks for hanging out with us today. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Bye, buddy. <laughs> so I really like the shakshuka. It feels really simple. It's like a, like a tomato-based sauce with like a poached egg and like a little like mini like bread croissant. It's pretty good though. It kind of tastes like Italian food. I really enjoyed that Donald interaction. That's probably one of the best character interactions though we've had at a buffet. Like he actually stood here for a couple minutes and spent time with us. 
So it looks like you're liking everything. Yeah. Yeah, I just had the ham with like the whatever, like the salsa, like slaw thing. Uh huh. With it. And it's really good. Yeah. yeah. What's been your favorite thing so far? Um. Honestly, I don't know. Honestly, all of it's it. It's all really good. Yeah. And all very, like, unique. So yeah, it's all really okay. flavorful, too. Mm -hmm. I've said in previous vlogs, it's kind of hard to find spicier food at Disney, but, like, this is, like, this has a, some nice zest to it. It's not, like, spicy, spicy, but it's definitely, like, not for, like, a safe palate. So if you have, like, an aversion to, like, semi-spicy things, this might not be the best location for you, but it's, I love it. Mickey just showed up, too. We got two characters in the same room. Hi, Mickey, good morning, how are you? You look great in your safari gear. How are the safaris this morning? Fantastic, we're gonna go on one later. Yeah. <laughs> I love giraffes, yes. Giraffes are my favorite animal. I love them. <laughs> They're so tall. <laughs> Thank you, Mickey, see you later. Unfortunately, it's like super loud in here. We're in a very tight room, so I kind of hope this is picking up everything um, and then I'm not being too loud or too quiet. On the plate number two, um, I got some of that chicken curry that Matt mentioned. There's a Malva bread pudding that I don't know exactly what it is, but it looked interesting. This is like a tandoori roasted tomato, this vegetable frittata, and then some overnight oats, which I think just looked really good. I don't remember what this marble bread was, but it kind of looks like a, like a nice streusel. That's nice. That's like a coffee cake. Those overnight oats are real good. They're nice and thick. Not super sweet either. Daisy just entered. I hope Matt hurries. I'm gonna try the chicken curry since Matt said it was so good. Oh, that is so good. My my favorite thing so far. Hi Daisy, how are you? You look fantastic. You're very safari chic, I love it. <laughs> how is the safari today? Oh yeah, elephants and the giraffes. Is the elephant your favorite? Yeah, giraffe's my favorite for sure. <laughs> it was nice seeing you Daisy. <laughs> Bye friend. I will say the characters are coming through way faster than I thought they were going to. We've been sitting for maybe 20 minutes and we've seen three of the four. Matt actually just missed out on Daisy. Like she's only a table over. So maybe she'll come back through realizing that she she didn't speak with him. But um, yeah, she's already gone through and she's working around the room. So we may ask our server if Daisy can come back through. If not, not a huge deal. Um, we're definitely people that like to kind of enjoy the ambiance of, of the characters. But uh, if you watch our Crystal Palace vlog that we did the other day, I'll link it later in the video. Um, we really felt like they took their time coming through. We spent about an hour plus in there and like about every 20 minutes we got a new character. So it was very well paced. Here it feels like it's very like boom, 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 boom. Which is nice for people who are trying to get out in the parks, but like us who are just trying to enjoy our breakfast and enjoy soaking up the characters. It's being, it's, it feels very quick. What'd you get for your second plate? Looks like you got a Simba or a Nala waffle. Yeah, I got a Nala waffle. Um, I didn't go too crazy. Yeah. Um, I'm already getting a little full. Yeah. Um, I'm like, I thought about getting the tomato that you have, but uh -huh. I'm not huge on tomatoes. Yeah. So, I skipped it for now. You got that one orange and beet uh, salmon. Yeah. I wanted to try that. Cause I, I love smoked salmon, so like I figured I might as well try it, even though I don't like beef. Uh huh. And orange sounds weird, but I'm sure it'll be good. We're here. So yeah, you might as well. Yeah, at least try it once. Yeah. And it's so small too. I got this like bread, this Malva bread or uh, bread pudding. I have no idea what oh, it even yeah. is. I about the bread well, it was with a bunch of like savory stuff, so I don't know yeah. if it's gonna be savory or sweet. We're gonna try it. It's sweet. It's good though. I like it. Wow, and Goofy's already in here too. They are churning out these characters. Unfortunately, with some places like this, you get the character one time. They typically don't go around more than once, so we'll we'll see if that happens. This is a fairly large restaurant compared to Crystal Palace, so they may only come through one time, and then they're done. Um, so what's what's hard about eating at a buffet is that, like Matt was, if you're up getting your next plate, you could miss part of the experience. 
So it was kind of nice when things were family style because you never left your table unless like you need to go to the bathroom or whatever. But you could get every character experience, you know, with without a problem. Hi, Goof. How are you? You look great. You look like you are very ready for an adventure today. How's the safari out there? It's good. We're gonna do one after we go eat. What's your favorite animal to see? The lion? Yeah, very cool. Yeah, the lion's always sleeping though. So hopefully they're awake. Hoping so. My favorite's the giraffe. I think, I think you and the giraffe might be the same height. <laughs> it was nice seeing you, Goofy. <laughs> See you, bud. <laughs> this food is also very hearty. Like, we are probably about a plate and a half or two plates through. We're already getting <laughs> very full. We're getting very full. But it's so good, though. Like, I'm, I'm really glad that we came because it is so unique. Like, the fact that I'm eating chicken curry for breakfast, like, it's, it's crazy, but it's really good. I'm going to try that tandoori um, roasted tomato. I don't know what tandoori tastes like. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It tastes like a tomato. Tastes like a tomato? Yeah. I like it. I don't think I would get like another one, but I but I like that I got one. You didn't like it? Well, I'm just getting full. I like the texture is messing with me. Oh. I think it's just like a cinnamon coffee cake. I think it's just like zebra striped. Yeah. yeah. I tried it with the honey butter. I think it actually tastes better without the honey butter. Like, it just doesn't need it. I think they're going to do, like, a character parade here, too. I hear, like, an announcement. It's so loud in our room, though. I can't even hear what they're saying. So, Goofy's caught up with another table just meeting with guests. So, I don't know what the other characters are doing because he's the only one in our room. But they're supposed to, like, dance and wave and sing, and they're not doing it, so... <laughs> Get it, Donald. Get it, Donald. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love it. Donald was living it up today. All right, so we're on our third and final plate. I got kind of a more traditional breakfast this time around. Can't leave without getting a Mickey waffle, and I got a Simba waffle as well. This guava pastry looked really good, and then I just got another um, sausage and then just some buffet eggs. And then you've got like the whole sweets collection. Well, not all of it. Just a lot of the, um, like the pastry bars, honestly just this basket. Yeah. Which, it's probably fine, because then you don't have to get as much at the end. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I got the guava pastry. This is like a mini cinnamon roll. Mm -hmm. I got another of uh, the... The coffee like, cake. The coffee cake that came in the, there. Um, what else? Is it I, orange marmalade? I got the orange marmalade just to try. Yeah. I don't really have anything to try it with. Other than, you know, and you can put it on this, uh, this like, croissant right here. Maybe. It looks savory, so that's why I, I... I think it's an almond croissant. Oh, then possibly. Um, and then, yeah, I got the bread pudding. Yeah, okay. Which I'm glad it comes in, like, a little small little thing. Cause yes. I know at FOMA, I had bread pudding as, like, one of my last things I ate, and, oh. Yeah, it was too much. So, like, the texture and, like, just being very full. Uh-huh. I could not finish it. Yeah. Hi, Mick. Mickey, we are so full. Yeah. It's we are nice and full. <laughs> Thanks, Mickey. <laughs> this guava pastry might be one of my favorite things here as well. It has like a really like rough like coarse sugar on top. It's really really good. Like it's a nice texture to eat. Welcome back, Donald. We are so full. You were getting it earlier. I saw you dancing. There you go. You need to come to my next party. Mm 
<laughs> See you, bud. Hi, Daisy. You missed him earlier. I'm so glad you came back around. I'm really glad you came back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you guys look great. <laughs> I saw you smooching Donald over there. <laughs> yeah, he is a little crazy. But that's why we like him, right? Yeah. <laughs> We're very full. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. You guys did a great job. <laughs> It wasn't you, it was them? <laughs> you were too busy getting ready. <laughs> no wonder you look so good today. <laughs> Beautiful eyelashes, yes. <laughs> Bye, Daisy. Yeah. And of course, one of my favorite things you do get at Character Breakfast are these little postcards. It's got all the characters featured on it. And then on the back, it's got their signatures. Just a little nice freebie that comes with it. So we're very full, we're done eating, we're gonna get the check and we will let you guys know what we thought. Almost clean plates, we just couldn't finish these pastries. It was just a little too much. All right, all wrapped up here at Tusker House. What did you think? I thought it was really good, yeah. The food was great. I think the food was definitely the biggest plus. The variety, the flavor, the just everything it had. Like that, that chicken curry was so good that I, I would have gone back for more if I didn't want to keep trying other things. I would say my least favorite part about it was probably how fast everything felt. The first half of it, I think we got our first, I think we got all four characters in the first 20 minutes. We were there for about an hour total. And I started to feel very, very rushed by everything. I knew that's normal for character breakfast, but um, as kind of the breakfast went on, my opinion changed. Cause I originally was like, this is kind of a, you know, a one and done for me. I don't feel like I, I, I need to come back out here and do this. When Mickey came back around, Donald came back around, Daisy came back around. They kind of made it better because they checked back in, especially because he didn't get to see Daisy in that initial run through. It kind of made things a little bit, um, it kind of made it more worth it at, at that point. And like she, she like recognized that like I wasn't there the first time. True, so like she did. Nice. So she spent a little bit more time than like the others did with like coming back around because mm -hmm. like I didn't have that first time with her. Yeah. Uh, I, I will say I don't think Tusker House really works very well as a character breakfast just from the sake of how like the room is set up because the it, you're in like an old house like just kind of like all, all of uh, Animal Kingdom's like lore and setup is that you're in like an like an old reused building and so it's not one one giant room that you're in kind of like Crystal Palace or kind of like Topolino's like you you're in multiple different rooms. So not only was it incredibly loud and hard to like focus and have conversation with characters and you know each other, um, when they they did like the dance parade, like we didn't know where the rest of the characters were because they never actually came in our room except for Donald. Yeah, Donald, Donald eventually Donald came, in. came in. And danced. Yeah, because I think he realized Goofy was preoccupied with it, you know a different family. But um, I think if we did go back, uh, it would have to be with like friends or family. I don't think I I, I would go back just you and I. Um, I will say it definitely started to slow down a little bit because we came again like right as the park opened. So I think everyone was here for breakfast. And so now that the park has been open for about an hour or so, um, there's not, there wasn't a whole lot of people. So I think that's how the characters could afford to come back around. So maybe if you go later in the day, you may have, you know, a better chance once kind of, you know, that initial rush hits, yeah. um, which I, I think I'd be willing to try it again a little bit later. Uh, in the future, this is just when a reservation was. Yeah, because like, when we first sat down, like, tables was coming and going, and I'm like... Yeah, people were literally eating, like, a plate of food and then leaving, and, like, mm -hmm. like I get you're in a theme park and you want to get your money's worth, but they're paying $45 a person to be here. Mm -hmm. Like, take your time and enjoy it, like... Enjoy the characters. Yeah, enjoy your characters. For, that's what you're, that's what you're paying for. You know, for us two alone, it was $100, so, like, I definitely feel like I got my, my money's worth, oh, for yeah. sure. So we got every character twice besides Goofy. Besides Goofy. Goofy was taking his time. Yeah, Goofy was definitely working around the room, but the one interaction we did have with Goofy was great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Goofy was, was very, very animated. Today. Okay, I, I feel like everyone did a pretty good job. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think the character interactions were better, were better than at Crystal Palace. Like, I feel like Crystal Palace, like, there's only so much that Pooh and Friends can do. Yeah, uh, yeah, because, I mean, we were talking about the safari with all the characters. That's and, true, yeah. But I, I don't know. I I think it's because, like, Pooh and Friends are just so unique that, like, I still think... They're also very the calm char characters, except That's for, probably, like, Tigger. Yeah, so, like, I kind of like the energy of them, and, like, everyone was just, like... The people in the Crystal Palace 
were more like really gung ho for yeah all the characters. Yeah, like, they wanted to see the Hundred Acre Woods grin. Yeah, while here it's just like yeah, yeah. Let's leave. Bye, Mickey. I know, I know. But the video's not ending here. Uh, we told our character friends we're gonna go jump on a safari. It's about a 30 minute wait, so we're gonna go jump on one. Hopefully we get a better one than last time. Yikes, actually jumped up to a 50. Hopefully that's not accurate. Matt was saying that he's really glad that a lot of the cultural representatives from around the world have, have come back to Walt Disney World, namely at Epcot, but here in the Africa section of Animal Kingdom, uh, they've got a lot of dancers and performers and like uh, artisans. So like there, there was a lady um, making bead necklaces and had like a, like a little placard. Her name was Doreen, I think, and she was from Kenya and this was her story and just kind of show that like they're actively getting people from these corners of the world to make it as, as authentic as possible. Um, and we just really appreciate that. Yeah, and they really bring the magic. Yeah, they do. Hearts. They do. They, they make it feel a little bit more realistic. We've never been down this far. This very well might be a 15 minute wait. We've, we've never been down this far before. Usually we come way later in the day, but this is a very popular attraction to rope drop and do a uh, first thing. Yeah, this is definitely a little longer than we anticipated on, on uh, doing it, but you know what? We're in no hurry today.
All right, guys, that wraps up today's fun morning out here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. We had a great fun character breakfast out at Tusker House, and I think that was one of the best safaris we've ever been on, too. Yeah. It was good. nice and long, probably like yeah. a 30-minute safari. We did get stalled for a little bit, but um, lots of close-ups with, like, the giraffes and elephants and lots of fun stuff. Thank you guys so much for coming along, and as always, thanks for making memories with us. We'll see you next time.